It's always a good day when you get thinking yes. <laughs> La dee da, nice play. Oh, this trickster is active. This trickster's active as hell. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, we got chopped. That's so nice. Should I even chop it? I wonder if I should save the chop here, guys. Oh, look, we got card draw. La dee da. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I want to show you uh, what in my opinion could be the ultimate Rust Bowl deck. We've tried so many versions of it and we finally landed on one. I've tried this deck before and it is absolutely uh, amazing. Uh, today is actually Christmas, December 25th, 2021. So Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, so this, <laughs> this deck is going to be the Trick Bolt Trickster. I've been trying to do this for a long time of trying to adapt Trick Merry Mac, Christmas which is a Friday. really, really good deck. HG good candidate Pop. for one of the best decks in the game, for sure. Um, thank you so much, Saskatoos, for subbing. Heck yeah. Um, so the idea is to run a bunch of one drops, some hardy treats, some ch cheap tricks, uh, camel cross, uh, together with teacher which is going to be making your tricks a lot cheaper between that and your superpowers and you're going virals you're going to be able to build a board very very quickly uh the second thing that this deck obviously is running is trickster and that does work very well since you're spamming so many tricks uh with your paparazzis that are growing every single time uh your genetic experiments is growing naturally so you don't even have to invest uh that much into them if you invest even a camel cross a little extra health it goes a long way because it grows every turn and again the teacher is making all of your tricks really really cheap you you end up with these tricksters um, that just cost two or three and they're just so cheap and a great great finisher as long as a really high value play you know obviously a low cost trickster is a six 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 damage to face or kill a minion um, so really really strong play the key to this deck was running four copies of thinking cap it just kept on running out of steam we don't have like the quasar that we do with Zmax, so that was something I was definitely missing. I'm running four thinking caps unironically. This is no joke. Uh, it just seems like there's so many opportunities where you sort of have this board and you just need more card draw. And this really can give you a lot of power. Um, you know, this sort of is a six cost for two superpowers, which by the way, if you're charging a trickster with that, is definitely value because that makes it cost three less. But especially if you have a teacher or a paparazzi on the field, paparazzi is going to be growing three times. The teacher actually makes this whole card cost three you can play this for three and then the two uh superpowers actually cost zero so that's a huge value uh, at, at three cost and like we've tried teacher we always thought like thinking cap is more of a card with space time because that's really going to make uh these these cards cheaper space time stays on the field uh we really haven't had a lot of success with it with teacher because teacher is so low health that if you're really trying to rely on getting a thinking cap off they'll sometimes just remove the teacher you know especially if you pass with three or four brains left, they're just going to remove it. But this deck pr protects Teacher very well. Definitely your priority for um, protecting, let's say, with a Hardy Tree or with Rockwall can give it a ton of health. So it just becomes, you get into situations with a powerful board and a Teacher on it, and then you just absolutely wreck them with either Thinking Cap or, like, you can play a couple going virals. Uh, which are hit a lot of minions and your teachers of course make this uh cost less uh, i really want to show you guys this deck because i think this is really really good enough explaining merry christmas let's get into it we're going to be doing normal bets today if you think if you think this deck remember the other day if you think this deck will go at least eight and two vote yes and if not then vote no we'll see what happens heck yeah 10 out of 10 for betting Thank you so much, Mr. David L. Ross, for 22 months. Thank you so much. <laughs> Heck yeah. Long time viewer, man. We're going on two years. Okay, so this really is an ideal starting hand. You don't even need to keep tricks when you're starting hand, by the way. Uh, it really depends who you're against. I, I really like the middle managers. Didn't explain this. This is a cheap card that grows because you have a couple professionals like the the teacher and the paparazzi and whatever this conjures you. It just ends up being a good card in the early game to spam on one, especially against Rose. Um, and good card in the late game because it's a one cost card draw card, so it will give you value, give you another, it doesn't cost you a card. Um, I find it's really good. Trickster is good in your starting hands. I like having like a second card either like Paparazzi or the Teacher. Think that would have to be a smash deck then? Maybe it could work? Show how how the worst legend can still win games. And Merry Christmas Fry. Oh my gosh, stop. 
<laughs> Thank you, Bookist, for 37 months. Speaking of long-time viewers, goddamn Bookist. Thank you, guys. You uh, want to be hero? I don't know, man. I, I, I'll write it down. I, I don't know when I'm going to do that. Wanna be hero? <laughs> I've got nut for wanna be hero. Okay, this is an uh, interesting pickup. So our opponent did not use a superpower. I'm going to play. I think we go paparazzi here. Does this play too? Well, I guess well, we can always nerf the Roto Big. I kind of want this to be in the middle just to play around the eventual shrinking viola. Because this will grow. If this survives, I mean, the opponent has a bunch of cards that could probably answer this. This will grow a lot. Definitely gets a three attack this turn. Nice Roto Bow. Bro. So I definitely want to take that out. Draws another card. We actually have three tricksters in our hand, which is a lot. We don't want to have that. We want maximum one or two, but it's okay. Uh, so one, two, three looks good. I'm just trying to think about the lanes. Usually want these more to the right. All right. It could be we'll get like a chimney sweep, which is probably better here anyway. Here we go. <laughs> it's a pretty thick field. We'll just hardy tree something. Yeah. What does Seal Santa say instead of ho ho ho? R R R R R R R R R R R R R. Beautiful. Thank you, Zedar, for 41. And thank you, hmm, for welcome to the family with a paid sub. So what do I buff here? These are actually gonna be growing like a lot here, man. Uh I think we're gonna go well. Doesn't really matter. Alright. Uh, I should have gone for the one in the middle because of the Shrinking Violet next turn. I messed up. Should have gone in the middle. He's actually both grown in. The one in the Swiss is safe one. Okay, that's alright. card in the game except HG. A true Merry Christmas to me. Yay! Purchased a 10 pack and got him. Heck yeah! So thank you, Lazarus. Man, people are doing like crazy today. Very Christmas, guys. So glad you got that. What is this? Deck suggestion challenge only bullseye cards. I don't know if there's any hero that has enough bullseye cards to go only bullseye. Which which hero would that be? Uh, so this is gonna go here. The shrinking violet's a little sad. It wouldn't have mattered with the with the misplay last turn, it seems, because um, okay. <laughs> Uh, we really need a going viral or a thinking cap right now. This actually goes down to two. That's nice. Not that good if I... There's teleport. Um, I'm gonna just play teleport. Don't want this getting removed. Again, getting a going viral or a thinking cap. I, this is the reason why I added four going viral, four thinking cap. It just seems like there's so many situations like this where that is literally exactly what you need. It's the best thing. Okay. Um, I, I don't think the teacher is going to actually get a lot of value down the stretch here, so we're just going to spam that. This will be better because it grows. We don't have, just have a lot of tricks in our hand. We really are bricked with these tricksters here. And plus, it also has wing nut. Man. This is actually going to be really, really rough. We're not running an answer to wing. I could, you know, you can always tech things, you can always run flick and stuff like that. But we, in the meantime, we just don't have an answer to this. Uh, too bad we didn't keep the teacher. We could have played both of these. I'm gonna go just for Thinking Cap here. Maybe actually playing this plus Thinking Cap. No, I probably would have been better. Alright, this way we can play two tricks though. Even just some card draw would be nice. So we got. <laughs> we got Smash, which is the only thing that kills a 3 6, right? And Blow maybe is the other, so. Bye bye. Just makes me have to replay that next turn, it's too slow. We can actually, Tricksters are active, we, okay. So we have seven now. Ah, uh, four plus three looks awfully good. And then we'll hit him with more Tricksters later. Can we get the six here? Nice. <coughs> uh, I guess I could have gone... 
No, this one costs five. Okay. We're all right. We're doing a lot of damage with this going viral, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. A little bit annoying. Another card. Again, thinking cat. Best thing we can get right now. <laughs> that was a good thinking cat, man. That was a great thinking cat. Perfect thinking. Chop would have been better, I think, than blow, but yeah. You get the point. Uh, so this one will go up to 3-3. Three, three. This goes up to 4-3. So it's four, one, and three. I'm gonna use this one actually. Uh, just in case we top deck a Camel Cross, Rolling Stone. Thanks, Steve. I got huge Giganticus after almost Yay. four years of playing. Thank you, Orissi, for 15 months. Yeah, to the huge Giganticus came back to the store. It's amazing. It's only for 24 hours. Looks like everyone's gobbling that up, though. Uh, this trickster actually wins with it going viral. It, since it kills the wingnut, it does do the bonus attack. So. Uh, we got him. That was the guy with two wingnuts, too. I mean, wingnut is one of the things that can really get the stack of the going virals, but anyway, there's enough ways to deal with it. So. Right. I should switch thinking cap with triplication. No way. No way, Jose. <laughs> Dude, just kill her. It's not that simple. Fun to have wingnut. We can't do the tricks face to face. Come on. Yay. Matrim. Thank you so much for the bits, Matrim. Really appreciate it. Heck yeah. It's amazing though. HG's back in the shop. Guys, set five hype. <laughs> I laugh when I say that. It's sad that I laugh. Oh, man. Are you finally liking Thinking Cap? What well, we found a deck for, again, I've done it with with you, you know, like with Dr. Space Time was the other combo, but, you know, it, it's, it's really, really good in this deck. The Thinking Cap, if I could run more Thinking Caps, I probably would. <laughs> Yay. Okay, we'll get rid of Rocket against this. One of those, one of those. That's, that's a fine starting hand right there. Um, so we can play around. I think I'm going to play around Forget-Me-Nuts. There's a lot of those around. So we're just going to play this all the way to the right. can also play this in three, just in case we get a... Um, just in case you get like a, a genetic experiment you want it to be surrounded on two sides. It doesn't really matter. This is a nice card. I find overall the professional cards are... Pretty decent, you know? You don't need, like, a lot of synergy to get it to work. So this will be a lot of value. I might just spam this for a card. We'll see. Even just 3 plus 1 is really good. He does have the little buddy. That's very sad. See? Ah, so Shrink Rolling Stone? Heck yeah. You can almost run more Rolling Stones. I think all this part of the stack is really just versatile. Versatile. Uh, so that'll kill that little buddy for free. Really got rid of that threat, too. The, the catch up mechanic is a little bit scary here. Three and one looks awfully good. You can just money. play this as a 4 1. Merry Christmas, Fry. Thank I'm you, Dama, so baby. HG is in the shop for today only. Heck yeah. Everyone, make sure you buy HG today. I got him after 55 packs, lol. Also, Fry, I love your stupid saying. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, thanks, I think. Pretty sure. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. This is going well so far. Uh, he moved that. Okay. This going viral. That's a really good pickup. Not too much win more cards in this deck. 
There's Wingnut. What is with- No, there's no way everyone's playing Wingnut today all of a sudden. I haven't seen any Wingnuts. This entire year I haven't seen Wingnut. Okay, we've seen a few, obviously, but... Come on, man. What am I supposed to do about this? Do I go face her? I think I shall. Does this live? Maybe making this live. And break through. And break through this nut. Instead of one damage. It's probably better. If we can actually get one more way of buffing this. Like a camel cross or something. It also charges this card more. Mm, I think this is fine. Swing, that's so annoying. If he plays something rocketable, that'll be really, really good to get a shot from this rocket here. Otherwise, we just need thinking cap is what we need. It's, uh, this is, guys, I, I'm not going to say this every single time we, <laughs> we're in this situation, but thinking cap is the best card probably in the game in this situation. Think of what we could get that would be a better card than this right now. Crazy, guys. Even if, he, if Sham Rockets... The spends three out of five brains shamrocketing this card right now. Uh, the thing kept still amazing because we'll have our choice of, of, of one superpower and still be, being able to play both. There's that. We can get a, an environment from here actually. The heal, okay. Desperation time. We just need to add. If we can add two attack, here we win. Uh, thank you, Eureka. Okay, let's we'll see if we get a trick. Come on, sugary tree. Smoke bomb. Is this good enough? It is not. But, I mean, this is a really good superpower. <laughs> so that's fine. This still actually grows again, so he's down to one regardless. We have Undying Pharaoh. We got a lot of stuff here. Uh, I think superpowers. Just trying to think about the smoke bomb here. Should I go for the smoke bomb? I think it's fine. Wow. Only heals for a little bit. So we have Rocket here, and then we have Lightning on this one, I suppose. So these hit face. See what happens. Keeps the card in hand, you lose. Okay. He is protected. That's out of the way, though. Yeah, maybe these people are screen sniping. Oh, wee! <laughs> clunk. He's only healing for three. That's the good news. He can't, like, do a heal camp. Going viral. Got him. <laughs> this is against the one weakness the deck has, theoretically. Still getting him. Unexpected gifts would be better than thinking cap. I don't know about that, man. Because you can't play the most of the cards from unexpected gifts until the next turn. Unless you get, like, fruitcakes and stuff. These cards are playable immediately. Hell yeah. I was thinking Smoke Bomb could have moved the genetic experiment into that lane and actually have killed the wing nub. Anyway. At once that nut well we could have lightning we could have lightning bolted the walnut and then done that. It would have prevented the heal. Would have killed that on the frenzy. Anyway. Um, so again, against Solar Flare, we don't have Con Man, and that was one thing I was always wondering. Like, should I run Gladiator? It just doesn't seem to do enough damage. This is the turn one play in this deck, which is amazing. I I'm going to keep this hand. Heck yeah. So this actually goes in middle. When you have a genetic experiment, you're going to be playing this in the middle lane. You play the teacher in heights, it doesn't die the Scorch. This goes in the middle. If he Scorches, he'll get one card. 
Um, but you can't just get value from just weed whacking this, you know? Um, so this is a really strong play. Look at the Camel Cross value here. You want Astro Shum on one? I, I don't like Astro Shum on one even in an aggro deck. I just don't think it's good enough. So we go with... We go with this? Uh, so getting a one cost card would be probably better here. That's nice. Getting a okay. Um, probably just going viral. <laughs> There's the synergy. We'll do this maybe next turn. We have a little mustache synergy. Yeah. Bayer blast. Awkward. It actually grows both of these. This is not just a card draw card. I mean, these are a threat now. And the moment he takes out another one. It's going to be even a bigger threat. This will actually grow this one, thank you. Uh, I think we use this now. It keeps this one alive. Draws us another card for next turn. Don't file. <laughs> We're professional synergy. So do we, do we go one plus three, or do we go with going viral or not? It's probably not going to remove cards. Maybe not going with the going viral here is better. Or, or going with the going viral is better. Run fun, fun dead could be good. I haven't tested it with fun dead. I've just found that. It seems like Thinking Cap just is better in those weird situations we get in this set. So this is fine. Look at these middle managers, man. You never really used middle manager like quite like this. You usually run Fossil Head together. It's just, it's just good, man. It's just a good way of getting this really, really cheap, kind of unanswerable tempo. Because one for one, it wins yeah. trades, you know? Because he drew a card. There's that. Yay, you killed a card. Like, who cares? So I think it's gonna be you. You already used Scorch, so take the player on that one. That's cool. <laughs> I'll play this and go in fire. This is professional. <laughs> Such a nightmare, man. If you start doing damage to these cards, these guys grow. Insanity. Mushroom Grotto. I'll take way too slow plays for 300. Here we go. Thank you. This is going to actually help us. It's going to make this guy do a lot more damage here. So here's four. Survey says this one's already going to be lethal. That went face. La di da. Yeah, we got him. That scares you. Really good exhibition of just the other way this deck kills you. No tricksters, nothing fancy. You just spam one drops and protect them and they just all grow naturally. That one the middle manager is carrying. There's only two other professional cards. It's just this little, it doesn't need a lot of synergy to be good because it's drawing you. It also draws whenever you play it. It draws a professional card, so it's kind of built in. Professional zombies are usually pretty cheap too. They cost like one, two, or three. So There's a couple expensive ones, but even like... Fossil head. Okay, so now you have more late game, you know? That fossil head, uh, skull, turquoise skull. That's a cool hand. That's a cool hand. What do we do with this hand? So I think we spam teacher on one and hope for the 50-50. That's what we do. It's just a little sad if he answers both of these, but I guess we're gonna kind of live and die. Maybe I should get rid of one of these? Yeah. Starting off with heal is sad in general for Rust Bowl, but the heal actually does give like your paparazzis and your tricksters a buff. So that was more score. It completely misses. This always gets protected so it doesn't get berry blasted next turn. This in a way is more important than the paparazzi because if we play, let's say, the paparazzi another one drop. Anyway. So we'll actually charge our block meter, give us, you know. Our superpower we go. So again, Berry Blast. You can kill a one drop with Berry Blast. 
That's as good as it's gonna get for this guy. I think we're gonna keep this as a 3 4. We can get it beyond hammer range and also do more damage. That is good. Find something better to use this combo on. Maybe I really should have gotten this beyond, unless he has Ice Spore. He has Hammer, it would just be sad here. Is a combo? No! No, he don't! <laughs> That's right, I'll, I'll play this slow. I, don't, I can just wait till I get more cards here. La -dee da I thought he would have a banana bomb there or something. Okay, now we got Trickster. Now we can start spamming. Can you please play into this? Play Elderberry. Gosh, this guy's so <laughs> The pass. Epic dictator. The blocks. Um, yeah, why not? Unless he's running rogue. Yes, we got thinking cap. It's always a good day when you get thinking cap. La di da, nice play. Oh, this trickster is active. This trickster's active as hell. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, we got chopped. That's so nice. Should I even chop it? I wonder if I should save the chop here, guys. Oh, look, we got card draw. La di da. <laughs> oh, another trickster. So now we can do that before we spam all of our tricks. So we're, let's start off with this. I think drawing an extra card here is better. Um, uh, well, we probably should have some answer to to wing that eventually, right? I honestly considered not chopping that. What a great thinking cat, man. Can we play both of these tricksters if we spam these tricks here? What turn was it? It was five. So on turn six... We can actually play both of these tricksters here, right? This will cost, if we play three tricks, this will cost five, and this will cost one. Oh, so the play is nerf. Ah, uh, never mind, we have a new play. <laughs> la dee da dee da oh, another thinking cap, that's nice. la dee da dee da it's guaranteed lethal. I don't know if you guys see, it's kind of like a bundle party. <laughs> it's a good thing we chopped them, or else this wouldn't work. This costs 6 total now, and he has 10 health. What do you think's gonna happen? And he already used more spore. It's guaranteed. La di da di da. Oh no, he got a super. He's gonna make 7 sun next turn. I wonder what he's gonna do with it. The answer is nothing. The answer is he's gonna die. <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> Ah, feels good, man. Feels good. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm putting it on the highlight count. Uh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Where is my... This just takes a little longer these days. Heck yeah. Uh, Super 4 now. La 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 la. Oops. Cool. I think a teacher on one is gonna be okay here. The night the nightcap super is sad. Well, I guess double teacher next turn is better, and it dies less the nightcap super. Okay. So it's gonna be this and then double teacher next turn. Alright. Heck yeah. Huh. Another teacher. <laughs> that also happens sometimes, and it's like, oh, I have extra teachers now, okay. 
Now, the main cards we need, that's fine. The main cards we need right now are uh, going viral. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at her hand here. Come on. Trickster's okay. Trickster's all right. Roll it, man. Uh, we have to draw into something. Some kind of card draw in order for this to work. Still die. He doesn't have Berry Blast or else he would have played it there, so. I think this trade should be good. Come on, going viral. Not gonna cost very much. Uh, I should probably play around. What's it called? Planet. Sad indeed. I don't have any environments in this deck. He doesn't know that. Unless he's sniping. Playing planet here is usually a really bad play. What do you run in this deck instead of trickster and teleports? Please someone help me. So there are going to be hard cards to replace. The tricksters especially really made this deck as powerful as it can. Maybe you can just run more early game and hope that, you know, it'll kill one of the ways this deck wins is by spamming tricks, the trickster. But this deck, as you've seen, has other ways of winning just with paparazzi and, and all the one-drop spams. So maybe just run another powerful early game card. Um, I don't know, it's your dimensional zombie maybe? I don't know. I don't know what would be the, the thing I would run. Fossil HUD? I, I actually started this deck off with Fossil HUD instead of Trickster, and this one just worked a lot better. This nightcap is conceding. Do I count this as a win, though? I mean, he played a card. We are ahead. I think this qualifies as a win. Barely. My criteria for a disconnect counting as a win is we have to be ahead, and the guy had to have played something. It wasn't just like he queued and his phone died, you know? So, yeah. And if he really had no answer to those teachers, then he was dead regardless. We were going to draw into some crazy stuff eventually. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that was about. <sighs> Run Gargologist and triplication. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Here is Solar Flare. A lot less scary than when you bump into Solar Flare only running this. See, now, I, don't, I think I'm just gonna keep this. Screw it. I'm actually, good for the end of the year, going to be doing some sweaty decks. Uh, this not dying here is so... It's just a 50-50 of just being able to use a superpower. Plus there's Banana Bomb. Plus there's Corn. So, less than a 50% chance, we can say, of the survivor. Yes! Yes! Now Berry Blast doesn't even kill it. Now there's nothing that kills it, except for Hammer on 3. And it's just so huge, because now the thinking cap's out. We just needed a guy to be able to play that. I might even play this. Well, let's need this. If he puts, like, an apple saucer here, I'll probably will play this. Buff Shroom. Uh, yep, that's good enough. So this is a really awkward Camel Cross, but it's fine. Adding two health here means this doesn't die to Berry Blast, rain, Berry Blast next turn. So, it doesn't really die to anything except for Hammer. So this thinking cap now, on turn three, we're going to have two superpowers. Like, heck yeah. A little scary, but we're gonna get right. <laughs> we're gonna get right up in him this turn, man. Okay, bro. Eventually, we'll just chop this. It'll be fun. Boop. Um, I, I think we think in cap here. We can probably pr there's so many things that protects this teacher. That is one of them. Ooh, okay. 
think this is worth it. And we're going to draw another card here, too, which is nice. we got to take that out of it. So that's a removal card. It's as good as a lightning bolt or whatever. Maybe I should have, um... Maybe I should have done the bat and then the superpower to draw cards. What's better, a card or having a 3-2 teacher? Now the teacher's better. So. <laughs> but we're drawing two cards right now. Man, heck yeah. <laughs> Making cap too good. That's fine. Opponent has not shown us a superpower, so it's usually Scourge. Super, Weed Whack, and more Spore all would have been used, I think, to this point. So he has Scourge in hand. Right, could he have used Weed Whack last turn? Or the, the more Spore last turn with the buff shroom? I think so. I think so. Okay, so this makes... What activates... For... Okay, this goes up to 3 health anyway, yeah, so it doesn't matter what activates first. la di da di da See you later! <laughs> Just keeping the health up on this is worth it. Boom. That's good. What a die. Heck yeah. Hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, this costs three? Uh, I think it's, well... Yeah, it's worth it. Can play this and going viral. No, wait. Yeah, three and ten. Or we could just win. One of those. One of those! Yay. Got him, he's... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Where has this Rust Bolt deck been my whole life? Damn, this is strong. Something we haven't encountered yet is Forget-Me-Nuts. Which I almost feel like if you, you know, they just use it to block a teacher, it kind of dies pretty quickly anyway. I also do a rolling stone, so I don't know. Also, against forget me nuts, you're usually not even spamming your teacher on one. You're usually going like a uh, middle manager on one. The middle manager just to have a turn one play that is safe and establishes your tempo and doesn't cost you a card. Maybe middle manager secretly is like this really really good card. Man, it's rough getting rid of a going viral. We really need a second minion, though. This is also really good against Black IP. I mean, everyone's running that. <sighs> I can't wait. We need a second minion here. All right, I guess that's our life now. I am not going to bite on that. How often do your decks go 10 and 0? Um, I don't know. Once or twice a month. When you shine, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky. You know how I feel. Mm -hmm. A little bit awkward, but we can play around really anything here. That's fine. Hard advantage. This isn't scary enough quite yet. Just thinking, okay. This goes in the middle. Let's see what we get. <laughs> it's not bad. Should I just play newspaper? I think I'll play newspaper next turn. Again, him using a super eventually on half of a car, half of a one drop is like so very sad indeed. Okay, that is awkward. I think now is when. Well, we have this play. I mean, he's not really doing enough damage here for us to really be worried about this. I really like this play next turn, so I'm actually gonna buff you. That's good. Get the value. Trickster. Back up to 19, so. Don't worry about any of that, man. So I like 2, 1, and 1. Looks really, really good here. We can remove anything, basically, that he plays this turn with, with the combo. Weird. Gets the conjure, though. So this is nice. I guess we just save our super, right? And we hit him with one of these. Mm -hmm. 
You now have. So this goes up to a 5 2, which I mean, with this hand is gonna be incredible here. The newspaper exploit. Got that from middle manager. Another... That also grows the middle manager. Man. <laughs> How does everything just work? There's. Oh, that's nice. That'll come in handy this turn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jale, Jale. Oh, so nerfing this brings it down to one. Maybe I'll just nerf going viral here. Well, well, well. That's tough, actually. I think we can get. Oh. I'll let it blow. I'll let it blow. Maybe. <laughs> Opponent dies. See ya. Alright, 7 0. How many people voted no against this deck, by the way? It's, um. 33 voted no, 67 yes. Two thirds. Use Jolly Holly in a deck and call it Berry Christmas, yeah. In a berry deck. I was gonna actually do that deck today and decided now I'm gonna actually use something good. I don't want to stream on Christmas and then use a deck that goes four and six, you know? <laughs> if I'm gonna stream today, I'm gonna use a good deck. That's all I'm trying to say. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Hell yeah. That's a fine hand right there, man. It's a fine hand. Screen door shield? It's terrible. But who knows? God damn. We also got Chop in our starting hand, which is very sad indeed. What am I supposed to even do here? I ain't got a damn play. Can I have like chimney sweep or something good? I got nothing, man. You have to wait for this hand to develop and hopefully not die in the meantime. Wow! Look at this guy go. Might actually use one of these as a fossil head. If we don't get any more tricks here. You know Ugh. Just try Keratops Protect, it's so good. I am getting, I'm actually getting wrecked this game. What is this with the block meter steel, too, man? So we can't, we can't roll level 3 on this either. Ugh. Bullseye. Yeah. Better than Bullseye. Oh, we're never gonna block. You, shine. you know how I feel. So... What is this garbage? <laughs> what? It's all Roto Vegas and he hasn't played anything else yet. <clears throat> uh, some kind of blocks here would be nice, but rolling all ones. Can I block this one? No, we just lose. Well, he has to roll another one. Zam! I can always just put a minion here to block this life. <sighs> Seven, though. Man, I don't even know. We need a rolling stone or we lose. Just don't have enough minions here.
Hmm? Two more rotavegas. <laughs> Keep it going. Wow, we. That is not what we needed to see here. But okay. Uh, we are done, right? We're just done. There's no way to block. It does one. Oh, there's no way. There's no heals. Now nah, we done so. Teleport when they've done a damn thing. All right, we went down. <laughs> to Roto Vegas fan. We, I, I really don't think that that was a counter to our deck. I mean, the Forget Me Nows was good. It was just more of us. We just didn't have a good hand, and we got a really expensive card screen door. Like, even just being able to play a second minion there. Ah, I don't want to save this either, never mind. Just ignore me. Alright, 7 and 1. I don't think he was hacking. I don't know if you were hacking why you would run Roto Vega and Mars Fly Trap as your two kind. Of, and he played other cards too at the end. I think he just got it. I don't even think that was that good. I think that was just us. Us fricking. Um, you know, th this is a really, really good card against Citron. Doesn't have a lot of ways of dealing with these. I think we wait till turn two just to be able to play around Forget Me Nuts here, because that would really, really mess us up. Forget Me Nuts here again. I feel like if he had it, though, he usually plays it. He usually plays it last turn instead of this, just to counter it. Okay. You know how I feel. So, is this worth it here? What is he gonna put on this, though? We're gonna save this. <laughs> the people voted no are still still optimistic. It's so possible. I think I'm thinking it looks awfully good. This paparazzi is gonna grow to a five seven here. That's great. Uh, there's a lot of things that come out of thinking cap that can deal with this. This is a neat idea. Very cute. Ooh, we did not get one though. Okay. Uh, just shoot for a Rolling Stone. We can top deck one. It's not a bad nerve. You know how I feel. Sun in the sky. Get playing these two. Oh boy. Alright, this is scary. There's Ticha. Should I play around Shrink and Violet? That's the real question. <laughs> oh, I guess we're not playing around it anyway. <laughs> Should have done this first. Let's see where we go. Okay. That was not scary. Another thing can get. Can we get bats or lightning or something? Finny clones works. Hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! Uh, I forgot that this explodes. That was really stupid. Didn't get any way of doing night. Wait a sec. We are one. Oh no, this dies! I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. What am I doing? Why did I even play Infinity Clones there? I'm so stupid. <laughs> this Galactic Cactus ruins our life. Oh my gosh, I misplayed so hard. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm so stupid, bro. 
<laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? The backup dancers with the with the cheese looks good here. <laughs> I misplayed so hard. Uh oh. This does twelve, so I think we win. Oh, we can just block damage here, dude. Worth it. Ah, we get extra stuff. Extra things. It actually makes this not die. We're also just trying to tr charge our trickster and block that. We win. We win. It doesn't matter, but... <laughs> the trickster just wins. la dee da <laughs> That was really bad, though, guys. No, we win. We win. We win. <laughs> Don't be scared. Uh, quick, before it's too late. Got him. Even Teacher in 2 and Middle Manager in 3 would have been okay there because of everything getting splashed. That Middle Manager would have done a lot of damage. I just, uh... <laughs> Alright guys, we're 8 and 1, though. This deck, man. The, I don't I think at that point once you're drawing cards you want value and tricks you don't want more minions at that point the deck is too minion dense that's why I think going viral which gives you the value and one card or thinking cap which gives you these tricks I think it's just a lot better don't need two camels oh that's an awkward hands do we keep this here against Spidow, man I mean, we can easily draw into a second minion. Is the trickster? We can get rid of the trickster, maybe. Oh, I think I'm just gonna play patiently. Huh? Okay. Uh, that'll conclude the bets, too. So the answer is yes. Ooh, this hand is not pretty. Merry Christmas to everybody. Hell yeah, yeah. So let our opponent kind of take their pick of these. And uh, Spike Weed Sector doesn't actually kill either one. Man, if the opponent doesn't have a Berry Bless or a way to kill this teacher here, I guess the Galacta in four would kill the teacher still. <clears throat> Heck yeah. This just means we can play Thinking Cat next turn, so... Who knows, maybe we'll find a way to either cover this... Well, we can't cover an environment, because that, that'll cost one. But, um, maybe we'll get, get like, a rock wall or something like that. Oh, okay. Okay, then. I don't think... The good news is he probably does not kill the teacher. It just doesn't seem... It's just too many cards, you know? So it goes here. My Keratops is gonna die for free. Oh man, look at the trickster now in our hands. It's gonna go down to to, to it's gonna go down to like five. Wow, we got that. So this right now will have four health, which is good enough, and we can actually super it next turn. So this again will have four health, it'll take three and kill the Triceratops. So I think we just use this next turn. It'll it'll have more value next turn. We'll probably actually use on the teacher to save it. Yeah. And we got a guy. The guys are good. This is still very much alive. Oh my gosh. La dee da. Heck yeah. You know how I feel Sun in the sky You know how I feel 
you done? Is doing five this turn good? We'll do five, two. Or is keeping the teacher alive, buddy? Teacher, yeah, it lives. Instead, we'll do three. I think this is right. Heck yeah! Oh, yeah. So, going viral thinking cap. What we need. Ooh. Hey, hopefully we can get a chop at some point. A little weird still. Shamrocket. Kinda of slow though, with this board, you know. I don't like that for him at all. Oh, okay. Where's our going viral though? For this? Look, Bobby, I found it. Aren't you proud of me? It's gotta be right. So he buffs these and rolls a one and blocks and stuff? Ugh. Wow. These can go to eight. Rain also makes them go to eight, so it should be okay here. Aha! Aha! <laughs> Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Four damage bullseye with this. This trickster still doesn't win, though. Man, is this awkward. Meteor's that. Trickster still has uh, lane, lane issues right now. The block. The rock? The rock. <laughs> Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Is the real question. Ah. Uh, um. Huh? 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 I think this is his only chance of winning this game. what I think. Really, unless he has two sham rockets or a doom shroom in his hand, he has to play mini. He only has three cards, so the 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 chances of him being able to like block these frenzy minions without a guy that dies to chop. What I'm trying to say is we usually win. You guys finally got HG, they've been playing for four years. They just put HG in the shop today have everyone coming in saying they finally got him. Heck yeah. Survey says! Oh, I'll take a 9 to 1 with this deck. I don't know what that Protopega deck was. Protopega ruined us. Man got four Rotobegas. Three. Four? Three? Thinking cat. Got him. Alright, guys. <laughs> what a great. What a nice little Christmas delight. Heck yeah. Uh, so that's the Rust Bowl. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll put my. I'll put my. I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna come out and say I think this is the best Rust Bowl deck. Something like this. Obviously, you can adapt it a little bit. You can add, you know, flex and stuff, but. The early game, the late game, the fact that it has multiple ways of playing, you can play slow, you can play fast, you can kind of play medium. The thinking caps were the MVP, come on man. The thinking caps, hope you guys enjoyed that, it was absolutely amazing stream, peace, this is Fry. Heck yeah.